OK, welcome. So in this case, what we want to do is solve by factoring. You might notice this is a, we could use a special factoring technique. Um, but let's just go back through our traditional method of what we want to do when factoring when a equals 1. So again, what we want to do is determine what two factors of 36 multiply to give us 36, but then add to give us negative 12. So when we notice that they're multiplying to give a negative 6, that means both factors have to be negative. And they're going to add to give us negative 12. So again, when solving, first thing we were trying to solve is for the values of x1, y equals 0. Now, I know I'm going to want to factor it. I'm going to rewrite this as two binomials factored um, for our trinomial. So again, when you apply FOIL, right, you know that you multiply the first two terms times the first two terms. Well, since we have x squared, we know that x times x halves equal x squared. But what are going to be my second terms of my binomial? And again, remember those two last terms have to multiply to give us 36, but they have to add to give us negative 12. So therefore, the factors of the 36 have to be negative. So let's go and look through the factors of 36, but only the negative. So therefore, it has to be 36 times negative 1, because that multiplies to give you positive 36. Uh, you could do negative 18 times 2. You could do negative 12 times negative 3. You could do negative 9 times negative 4. You could do negative 6 times negative 6. So what I'm going to do is just visually add each one of these up. And I see that ding, ding, ding here are going to be my two factors that multiply to give me positive 36, but then add to give me negative 12. So I'm just going to take these exact factors as they are, x minus 6 and x minus 6. Now I can apply uh, either the zero product property or the square root method. In this case, I'll just use the zero product property. So I'll say 0 equals x minus 6. And notice these are duplicates, so you don't have to solve them twice. Um, we'll talk about multiplicity in some other courses on you know, what happens when you have the same solution kind of twice and what does that do. But as of right now, let's just be concerned um, with solving. And you only need to do it once since it's repeated. So therefore, we have 6 equals x. And that is going to be your solution to your quadratic. Thanks.